Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. We are going to be doing a, another plan with me in my print impression weeks for the week of July 13th to the 19th with a very interesting kit setup. <laughs> so this first page is from Cricut Paper Co. It was a freebie from one of the UPS sales. I really loved the colors in it, but this is the only sheet that it came with. So I have pieced together some other parts that I felt would go along with this kit from my sticker stash. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get right into this. I also pulled in some washi from Simply Gilded, this really bright neon yellow, might as well, right? It's summer, let's go for it. <laughs> so we're gonna be doing my week on four pages this week because I feel like I have enough stuff to put that down, but I might not have enough washi to make that happen. We will see. So I'm gonna have to use some planner girl magic and figure it out. Oh, you know, I think I might have enough actually. Just kidding, we're not trimming it. <laughs> I was gonna cut it in half and stretch it over the four pages, but I have another strip over here. So I think that should be enough. And I know I typically don't start with the washi, but today we are. So this washi is from Sweet Kwai Design. It came in one of her other kits. I'm honestly not even sure which kit it came in because I've had it for some time now. So we're going to kind of Franken plan this week. And I just realized that my print impression planner is printed a little bit off. Yeah, this page got slightly messed up. I don't know if you can see how close the dot grid is to the end of the page versus on this page. It's got a little bit of a wider gap there, but it's okay. Not a huge deal. Okay, let me trim this and I will be right back. And moving on to the second set of pages, we're gonna do the same thing and lay my washi down and then trim it. Guys, I do apologize if I sound super winded or out of breath. As you know, I am pregnant and talking for more than a minute or two kind of gets me out of breath. So bear with me on that. I'm gonna trim this and then I will be right back. Okay, perfect, that is done and ready to go. And I'm gonna use this washi from Simply Gilded right along the top. I love adding just extra little elements to my kits to make them a little bit more pretty. Wow, this washi is super bright, guys. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know if the camera is picking up how fluorescent this washi is, but it's, it's blinding. <laughs> so the next few weeks, I think I'm going to try and Franken plan like I'm doing right now, where I pull in maybe a few elements of older style kits that I have and adding elements from my sticker collection because I am ready to start buying new fresh kits. I think I've only bought in maybe five or so this year and I'm really trying hard to go through the collection I already have because I mean, let's face it, I like to hoard stickers. Let's go ahead and do my dates. The date dots are from Cricut Paper Co. And the date itself is from On The Go Sticker Co. I'm going out of my comfort zone a little bit and doing this really pretty foil. It's more of a blue color, but I felt like being a little bit extra with this one. So we're just gonna go for it. And again, I think I have enough space to bump my date down just slightly. There we go. So we can see a little bit of the washi popping from the background. But yeah, so I, I clearly like to hoard stickers. I think all of us kind of do. <laughs> I'm sure I'm not alone in that, that boat. But I am almost done with the majority of my sticker stash, meaning all of my full kits. And now I'm getting to kind of like the half kits and the smaller kits. And I've been really good this year about sticking to what I said and not purchasing additional kits. But guys, I really want to. I've seen such beautiful things these shops are making and I want it all. So 
very excited to hopefully be buying new kits soon. So if you know any foiled sticker shops for full and mini kits that's at a decent price, please leave me a comment down below so I can start looking because I'm very excited for new stuff to be in my collection. And then I can start hoarding all over again, right? <laughs> Okay, let's go ahead and lay down my headers. This is from Creating & Co. I did add that same color foil on top. That's from Cricut Paper Co. And I'm gonna lay those right underneath my dates and hope all these colors match and line up. <laughs> so I've had a pretty productive week so far. I finished sewing all the dog beds. They have all new fresh beds with liners and everything in them. That took me about a day and a half just because I was learning a new sewing machine, which really didn't take much time. They're, they're pretty much set up the same, so I think the dogs are enjoying new dog beds. And we had a little bit of an issue in the gecko room. We have our chameleons on a mister system where it automatically will go on and off for them because they need to be misted at least five to eight times a day. And previously I was going in there and manually doing it, but guys, that's a lot, a lot of time and a lot of misting. And now let's lay some checklists down. I think I'm gonna do this week a little bit more consistent just for, just because of the lack of stickers I have, I wanna make sure I have enough of what I wanna do. But the chameleons have been on this system for quite some time now and it's working out really great. I was super thankful to finally have them on an automatic system because it took a lot of time out of my day and when I was working full-time and trying to take care of all the animals it just was a lot and now I'm pregnant and tired so <laughs> very grateful that we had that automatic system but it broke and the past I think four days actually five days I've had to go in there and manually missed again like I was so it's finally back up and running it did take a few days to troubleshoot, but it's working now. So it just reminded me how grateful I am to, to have that system. Okay, so I'm gonna lay some full boxes down a little bit differently. I know we're not in the beginning of summer, but this box is really pretty and it does say hello summer. So I'm going to start my sidebar with a full box just to break up. Some of that white space oh it's beautiful i love it okay and this is where i get a little confused because i only have three full boxes so i have enough to do like every other day and it be cohesive but i think let's go ahead and skip to saturday and sunday okay just kidding i'm actually going to hold off on the full boxes really quick while i finish out the weekend just because I want to make sure everything lines up the right way, so I am added this washi from Simply Gilded. I'm going to do a weekend banner like I used to. This is the closest washi color that I can find to this really cool peach that's in the kit. So we're just going to put it down and hope it looks alright. <laughs> I'm not like super worried if it's not extremely matchy-matchy. I know with me Franken-planning my kits, there's going to be stuff that's a little bit off, and I'm okay with that. So there we go. Okay, and then I'm gonna stick my weekend banner right in the middle of that pretty stardust. Oh, it's beautiful. Yay, love it. Okay, now we can go back to my full boxes and I think I'm just gonna put both of these down on Saturday and Sunday, right where that checklist should have ended because we're gonna be pretty busy this weekend. So I don't need a lot of little spots because we have a reptile show, so we will be one, e one event will take up the whole weekend. So let's put those down. And I'm gonna stick this little loan box on Tuesday. Should we do Tuesday? Sure, why not? But yeah, back to what I was saying. So I was in the, the Gecko room a lot more than usual this week, just trying to troubleshoot. And I had to bleach out all of their tubs and get them nice and clean. Okay, back to my sidebar. I'm sorry, I'm kind of jumping all over the place, guys. It's it's always different trying to figure out what kind of layout I want to do when I use a new kit, especially a kit that doesn't have everything that I would usually use. 
So again, just bear with me on figuring the style out. And I do want to make another background for this box I'm putting down. So the gecko room is nice and tidy and clean. All the tubs got bleached out. I don't know if I should be working with bleach or not. I'm sure I'm fine, right? I probably should ask my doctor. <laughs> and then we had a few meetings to go to. We had a city council meeting on Monday that lasted a few hours and very exciting news. Perfect. Um, this box is from Wild Summer Designs. And then I'm gonna go in with a habit tracker from Cricut Paper Co. And put it right underneath. And then divide it with this header from Creating and Co. Perfect. I think I'm going to move this full box. Oh God. <laughs> Yikes. We're fine, page did not rip. <laughs> but I'm gonna move it down so I can keep this portion pretty consistent even though my boxes won't match on that side, it's fine. Okay, so now let's go in and have, add some headers. The first three I'm using are from Sweet Quiet Design. Again, a leftover kit that I had. I'm sorry, I can't tell you which kit these pieces are from. But yes, back to my exciting news. We are partnering up I think I mentioned it in my last video, I'm just not sure. But we are partnering with another company. Um, and this quarter box is from Cricut Paper Co. Oh, I'm gonna switch these up because I don't want it to match. I don't have enough of like kind stickers to color block, so we're not color blocking this week. But anyways, so this company, they do bioactive terrariums and more amphibians instead of reptiles. So I'm super excited about that. Okay, and then I'm gonna go in with, I think they're supposed to be half boxes, but really they, they look almost like a quarter box. They're just rounded, so I'm gonna call them quarter boxes and we're gonna put those down. The, this is from Cricut Paper Co. And then I have one actual half box that is from Sweet Quiet Design. But so yes, we met with the gentleman that owns that company on Tuesday. We were there pretty dang late. I think we got there at maybe five or six and we left around midnight because he has, guys, his facility has so much stuff. And um, I like working with frogs and plants uh, and doing bioactive setups. I've actually wanted to get into it for some time for just me and my husband, but Okay, so I didn't like how that box was bigger than the other one, so I'm just gonna kind of make shift my own. It's probably gonna look a little bit funny, but I'd rather them be the same size with the rounded corners than have a completely different box there. I'm sure it's gonna be fine. This, this just feels like it looks better to me, even though they're two-toned. And since these half boxes match, I'm gonna go ahead and lay those down on Saturday. So, yeah, let's put them at the bottom. I think I like that. And I completely lost my train of thought of what I was saying, but I've been wanting to do the bioactive terrariums for quite some time now. So this opportunity just is perfect timing because he is already in the business. We wouldn't have to start anything up on our own and it's going to be amazing, I'm sure. <laughs> okay, all of these quarter boxes I'm using are from Cricut Paper Co. I'm gonna stick them towards the bottom of the page and see how I like this. Let's actually do an orange box here. I think that might look a little better than the yellow. There we go. So, yep, that was pretty much Monday and Tuesday, but we did just a bunch of meetings and things like that and projects around the house, cleaning, all that good stuff in the gecko room. Today's actually Thursday. I'm trying to film this a little bit earlier because I know that we're going to be going to my brother's this weekend, so I'll be busy Saturday and Sunday, and I'm trying to get my videos up on time for you guys. <laughs> okay, let's put this half box right here from Sweet Quiet Design just to break up some of the white space. Actually, let's change this up a little bit. I'm going to use this checklist that came with the kit because I can put like next week or to-dos right here, and then I'm going to go in with the half box from Sweet Quiet Design. 
to finish up the sidebar. There we go. Okay, so this is all that I'm left with from the miscellaneous kits and things that I pulled in. I don't think I did too bad, you know, for using leftover stickers from my stash. <laughs> I have this sticker right here from Once More With Love. I'm going to mark how many weeks I am. I believe this will be week 18 for me. And then the sticker from Little Pity Paper, whoops, I bought shit to track what I'm buying because I know I'm actually going to be spending some money on stickers this week. And this is my favorite thing to track. And then I have a scale from Little Pity Paper as well. Let's just put that mm. We can put that right here. I think it looks fine in the middle, right? To mark how much I weigh and maybe some exercise down here at the bottom. I like to go for walks if I can. Moving into Monday, I have a ton of stickers, guys. So let's see if I can remember where they all came from. I'm sure I'm not going to be able to, but I will try my best. It's always a heavy cleaning day for me. As you know, I get a lot of stuff done around the house on Mondays. So I have that washer from Sweet Quiet Design and I'm gonna pair the it with a foiled script from Cricut Paper Co. that just says laundry, just to add a little bit of shimmer to my planner. And I have this sticker, I don't know what shop it's from, but if you guys know, cause I'm gonna use a little bit more of these little cute panda characters, please let me know in the comments. I actually got it on a sampler, but since I have received it, I added all of my samplers to this book from Michaels where I just stick them down in here. So I don't really know where some of the stickers came from. So if anyone knows, let me know so I can get some more because they're cute. But um, let's, do we want to alternate? No, let's keep him the same. So I'm going to stick him right there, the cute little panda with this script from Kinsey Creations that says upload because I will be gone this weekend, so I'm gonna try to get everything filmed for you and uploaded by Sunday night, pretty late, or Monday in the afternoon, depending on the drive. And then I have this sticker from Wobot in Friends, just to mark them and clean the cat box. Super cute, it's a nice buttery matte paper. And I have the script from Little Pity Paper, it says Litter Box, to remind me to scoop the poop. And then I also have little Ernie with a spray bottle. Let's stick him right underneath that, just to mark that I'm going to clean up the house. This script sticker is from Sparrow Designs Co. It says tidy up, but really that, that means like deep clean for me. <laughs> I just didn't want to use my handwriting. And lastly, I have this sticker from Coffee Monster Co. Just a little guy in a animal onesie I'm gonna put right at the bottom, I need to call the pet sitter because we're gonna be gone for a longer trip. So I will letter that in. I don't, I need to get a custom that says call pet sitter so I don't have to letter it. But anyways, on Tuesday, I have this character from Little Petey Paper. It's little Ernie passed out. I'm going to try to sleep in a little bit on this day just because I have a really busy week coming up and I wanna rest as much as I can. So we're gonna put this sleep in script from Sweet Quiet Design right next to Ernie. And it is my trash day. So I have this from Coffee Monster Co to mark to take the trash out. And again, a script from Kenzie Creations. And I have this little suitcase from Sweet Kawaii Design. Super cute. Gonna put down right there along with this script from Gold Paper Prints to remind myself I need to book the hotel. I will probably do that a little bit sooner than Tuesday, but this is just a reminder of when I look at my planner, if I haven't done it yet, that's like the last day that, that I have to get it done. So we have somewhere to sleep. And then both of these stickers that I am using are from Little Pity Paper. I'm gonna bump the gecko down just a little bit. There we go. To mark that I need to feed the, the geckos on this day. On Wednesday, I have this little nail polish bottle. I don't know what shop it's from. Sorry about that. Along with this script, self-care isn't selfish. I was planning on doing my nails on Wednesday, 
and my toes, but I actually already did them today, so I'm just going to put that down anyway. I'll remind myself to pack my color street with it to take to the upcoming show. So it's a dual purpose for me. And then I have this sticker from Sweet Quiet Design, a little Frank at the laptop working. I'm gonna put him down to mark that I need to film my plan with me's for you guys with the script from Kinsey Creations. I have to do it a little bit earlier this week because again, we'll be gone this weekend. And then I have some script from Cricut Paper Co. that just says important. I'm gonna put that down to remind myself to pay the bill. I believe this is my sudden link bill, so. Mm. Oh geez, bad idea. <laughs> I was down for like two seconds. I have a little bit of damage, but no big deal. I just didn't like the placement of it. I'm gonna switch it up real quick. I have this desk from Creating & Co. We're going to put him in down instead and some script that says plan from every minute of story. And then I'm going to use the important sticker right underneath that to pay my bill. There we go. I like that placement much better. And then again, both these stickers from Little Pity Paper to mark that I need to clean the geckos. They're on a rotating schedule. I feed every other day and I clean every other day. So it just helps to minimize what I need to do in the room. On Thursday, I need to order all the groceries for the upcoming week. I have this little icon from Little Pity Paper along with some script from Cricut Paper Co. to mark groceries down. And I might not order them, but I do need to make a list because we're going to be gone Thursday to, I think, Monday. So I might just boot bump this to Monday. We'll see. And then I have another sticker from Little Pity Paper just to mark the laundry. I typically do this on Friday, but we will be gone, so I'm moving it to Thursday. And then again, two stickers from Little Pity Paper to mark that I need to feed all of the geckos on this day. And then after I feed everybody, I have this sticker from Once More With Love to mark that we need to pack everything up. And then I have this sticker from Sweet Quiet Design, and I'm going to put it at the bottom because we will be leaving to the reptile show on Thursday night. Moving into Friday, it is my husband's payday. Unfortunately, we will not be here to receive his check, but I'm still gonna mark it down anyway. And then this cute character sticker, I'm not sure of the shop, to mark that my trash needs to go out, so I will have to let my pet sitter know. She's really good about rolling the trash out for I'll us. Just give her a quick reminder so it doesn't stack up on us. And then I have this little munchkin from Once More With Love. I'm going to mark him right down here because I'm probably going to be very tired. I haven't decided yet if I'm going to this reptile show or not. It is 17 hours away before any stops. So I really want to go, but I know my body, I probably should not go. It's just makes everybody else uncomfortable because of how often I have to use the restroom and things like that. So we'll see if I do, I'm already anticipating that Friday I'm gonna be pooped because we'll be driving all night Thursday night and for the better half of a Friday, we'll be driving as well. And then I have this foil sticker from Cricut Paper Co. We're gonna mark in this big empty box that we are going to arrive at the show and set up everything probably pretty late Friday night. Moving into the weekend, I'm going to leave this spot blank to mark where we're going to be in Colorado. I will letter that in. And then down here on Saturday, I have a sticker from Sweet Quiet Design that says, Due to unfortunate circumstances, I am awake. I think that's going to sum up this day perfectly. <laughs> and then I have this from Coffee Monster Co. It's just a little character eating some sushi because we will typically do something like we go I mean we go to dinner we get dinner so and then on Sunday I have a little Ernie at his laptop with the edit script from Kenzie Creations hopefully I can edit my video on the way 
back from Colorado for everybody. If not, it'll be on Monday. It just, I get nauseated really easily now with me riding in cars and being pregnant. So I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to look down to do that for you guys. So that's kind of a to be determined thing. And then I have this character sticker from Cricut Paper Co. Again, we'll probably grab something to eat since we'll be out and about. So I'm going to put that down. Okay, so let me go ahead and fill the rest of this out where I left blanks and I will be right back. Okay, so I'm going to add some bows to the top of my planner. These are these are both from Clippy Chick Creations, which I have a discount code for you. It's Brandy20 if you would like 20% off your order and to receive my freebie. I think it came out super cute. I'm happy with how I was able to franken plan it with different stuff from my stash. So I especially love this weekend banner. Look at how shimmery. Beautiful. I also have a discount code for a little pity paper. It's Brandy15, but this video is going to go up in time. There is a pink planner sale starting tomorrow, which is Friday, and she's going to be 35% off with tiered freebies. So it's definitely a bigger discount than what I can offer you. If you would like my freebie still, just put my name in the notes section and you'll receive an extra free freebie on top of everything else. So hopefully you enjoyed this plan with me. I'm sorry if it was a little bit long-winded and more chatty, but until next time guys, I will see you later. Have a great day. Bye.